speech as the newly appointed general secretary. And today I can easily say that after 12 months, I stand here with a sense of peace, satisfaction, and most importantly, relief. A year full of hard work and toil, spending countless hours working, planning, and executing has finally come to an end. With a sigh of relief and a smile of satisfaction, allow me to deliver the annual report of GMC Students Association 2023-24, the Advaitas. Our first event as a batch was back in 2022 when we successfully organized one of the best Ganesh Chaturthis in GMC, conducting as many as 12 winter semester cultural competitions and also reviving the tradition of Mahaprasad after a deficit of three years. Christmas celebration in GMC, which included carol singing in pediatric ward as well as distribution of gifts to the children. After our induction in April last year, the first activity we conducted was a blood donation drive in collaboration with the dynamic team of IMA MSN, with over 95 plus donors from all batches of MBBS and AHS who came forward to counter the acute shortage of blood at the time. The International Day of Yoga celebration in the new auditorium. Prati Bhavan, our annual prize distribution ceremony, where the meritorious students of the academic year 2021-22 were felicitated in the presence of Chief Secretary and Health Secretary, Government of Goa. Next, we conducted the commencement ceremony or the pre-graduation ceremony for the outgoing doctors of the batch of 2017. This was followed by a first mega event, the ninth edition of Pan India Medical Conference, Gomecon 2023. This Gomecon saw over 600 plus delegates from representing more than 40 medical colleges across India. 250 plus papers and posters were presented at both under undergraduate as well as postgraduate students during the conference. Gomecon was upgraded with the novel theme of artificial intelligence and healthcare, reinforcing the old and imbibing the new. Seven hands-on workshops, including newly introduced obstetric and gynecology workshop and laparoscopy workshops, eight events, and nine talks from senior faculties of GMC. For the first time ever in the history of GMC, students got a chance to experience an immersive artificially simulated hospital setting through a virtual reality simulator, which was possible because of the collaboration with the USA-based organization, USAID's Rise. In the month of March this year, we conducted yet another mega event, Plexus 2024 which had over 16 colleges across Goa and serving a crowd of as much as 8,000 people. The IMA MSN have been a significant part of our council term, where we conducted various activities in collaboration, starting with the blood donation drive, which I've already mentioned earlier, World Mental Health Day, Patient Safety Week in collaboration with the Department of Community Medicine, we were also, also fortunate to have visited the old age home, missionaries of the charity Mother Teresa's home in Panjim, where we distributed items of daily use and an examination was done by a senior doctor as well as fun and inspiring interactive session with the elderly. The student council was also fortunate enough to get the opportunity to sponsor the national IAPSM quiz prizes. Apart from the organizing, organizing, apart from organizing events, the Student Council has also been instrumental in volunteering various conferences like JimaCon and Ethicon, which was the largest Ethicon held in India till date. Students Council was also fortunate to have presented the annual report to a group of foreign exchange students and faculties from the Adelphi University, New York, United States of America. Student Council has made sure a multi-dimensional growth of students in all fields, from academics to cultural and sports events. GMC reached its peak in terms of intercollege events, winning multiple trophies at the cultural front. Starting with first place at the Summer Fest organized by Rotary Club of M Mapsa. Overall championship at the Cult Run event organized by prestigious College of Indian Institute of Technology, Goa. And runners up at the intercollege event by Goa University, Platonica. I'm also proud to announce today that our council term has been the most successful in terms of club activities and have conducted regular seminars and meetings of all the clubs. Our clubs included Quiz Club, Finance Club, Books and Poetry Club, Academia Buzz, Dance, Drama, Fashion, Music, Food, Movies, Comedy, Editor, Editing and Photography Club, and Sports Club. I'm very desperate to talk about each one of the clubs, but we have a magazine for a reason, so I would urge everyone to read our magazine after the release. 
GMC this year also reached the summit at Sportsfront, winning the overall Champions Trophy for two consecutive times in our term at the Paramedical Sports Tournament Rangbhumi, organized by Ayurveda College Chirada. Our students also were meritorious at the university levels in sports competitions. University level basketball runners-up, table tennis boys first place, girls second place, chess first place, badminton girls second place, judo girls first place, taekwondo girls second place and first position in aquatic events. And um, I would also like to tell everyone that the winner in the aquatic events at the university even represented Goa at the West Zone in Inter-University Championship. Last but not the least, clean sweeping the Greens Trophy Inter-Department Football Tournament by both our girls as well as our boys football teams. Student Council has left a lasting impression through our developmental work in the campus. Starting with immediate repair of the then chronically broken reading room glass door, repair of washrooms in library, installation of sanitary napkin dispensers in the lecture hall buildings, washroom and library washroom, ensuring hygiene and safety of our female colleagues. Installation of convex mirrors at the sharp turn outside girls and boys hostel to prevent frequent motor vehicular accidents. Installation of CCTV cameras in the girls and boys hostel ensuring security and safety of the resident. Temporary repair work of the broken fence and compound wall in girls' hostel while the permanent repair work is still in pipeline. Fumigation in both boys' as well as girls' hostel with the help of the sanitary inspector and the Department of Community Medicine. Weekly pesticide control in hostel mess. Improvement of sports facilities in hostels including reviving, reviving of the badminton court in girls' hostel, fi fixation of a basketball rim in the girls' hostel and soon in the boys' hostel as well. A dart board and a football table in the boys' hostel. Regular repair works of taps and water coolers in hostels were also done. Allied health science students have also been an integral part of our tenure. Our inclusivity and cohesiveness will sure inspire many batches to come. The following events were conducted under the AHS representatives of Student Council. Occupational Therapy Day. IOPR 2024, marking the World Optometry Day. World Physiotherapy Day, which also marked the 10th anniversary since the introduction of physiotherapy course in GMC. Winter Wonderland. This, in, this Christmas celebration was conducted, which included inter-semester competitions as well. World Radiology Day. Students of AHS were also part of the All Goa Iron Man Marathon and were also involved in the International Purple Festival organized by the Ministry of Social Welfare, Government of Goa. All these achievements and events would not have been possible had it not been for our beloved Dean Sir, who always motivated us and supported our ideas. Thank you very much, sir, for everything that you have done for us and for our institution. Our council advisor, Dr. Jagdish Kapurkar, sir, who has been a father figure to all of us, keeping us grounded at every step and guiding us through thick and thick thin. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Sandeep, sir, Milin, sir, Dhawan, sir, thank you very much for your contributions and always guiding us. Jonita, ma'am, who was always in charge of our sports ventures. Staff of the Dean's office, Basu, sir, Prupti, ma'am, Ramna, Brijesh, Madan, for tolerating me and always offering me a cup of coffee or those extra kanda bhajis in the office. <laughs> Academic section, Jitu sir, Rohan sir, Sairaj, Grixi ma'am, Velda ma'am, and my personal favorites, Avinash, Venkatesh, Sarvesh, Vikram, Nilesh, who have always stayed back with us during events till the very end, making sure that every, making, making sure that we take back everything before leaving the auditorium. Staff of IT section, Transport section, Eco Clean, staff of the cash and account section, and a special thanks to Marathi ma'am and Rudreshwar sir for always tolerating me and Yash. <laughs> staff of the library, our beloved Angela ma'am, my seniors, Anish, Varad, and Neil for always guiding me. Special thanks to my friends from AHS and my juniors, especially the batch of 2022, who always have a special place in my heart because they have always been there whenever we needed support. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Thank you to my badge of 2020 who made the Advaitas possible. 
Though we conducted various events, there was never a single moment where I was overburdened, or for that matter, even being burdened at all. Because fortunately for me, I was blessed with a bunch of enthusiastic individuals possessing a unique skill set of their own. The most hardworking creatures and synchronized group of individuals. My dream eleven, the council member. May I please request my council to kindly stand in their respective places. No idea would have been a success if it wasn't for my partner in climbing five floors to reach the PSM department. My helping hand, possessing the exquisite art of composing and documenting, the fragile QT and our vice president, Deep Lakshmi. Okay. Our Miss Gomegon, who single-handedly took care of one of India's best conferences, whose out-of-the-box thinking and amazing ideas have always been one of our greatest strengths. The forever bubbly and smiling, a university representative, Punjal. No invites, no brochures, no websites, and no social media handles would be possible without our creative and digital maestro, magazine secretary, Divya Sapnis. By the way, she will still be working after our council term just for the magazine. She's been working really hard for our magazine, and I hope the magazine will be released very soon. So stay tuned for our magazine, everyone. <laughs> Our ladies representative Smithal, no matter what the task you have, you've been given, you have always been there to help me. Just one call and the job's done. Cheering us up always with your happy-go-lucky nature and of course, setting new benchmark for the future ladies representatives to come. Sakshi and Tushar are hostel representatives who have entirely took care of every needs in hostel, be it from the repair work to better facilities, from hygiene to safety and security of hostelites. Sakshi has been the manpower, or should I say the woman power, of our council, being the freak she is who couldn't rest without finishing the assigned work. Tushar, on the other hand, known for being the entertainer, never let the mood become gloomy during any setbacks. Sayan, who has gone way past his duty of being the indoor sports secretary, giving his blood and sweat for every event, the most motile council member and the lord of logistics. <laughs> Single-handedly taking care of all the management work. Pratham, the popular face among juniors, and the perfect fit for our outdoor sports secretary, who has been instrumental in all our sports achievement, and who has always had a team of players ready to play and even win any tournament. Last but definitely not the least, my two diamonds, my closest friends and my motivators, Yash and Vignesh. From, from being the festive coordinator to the cultural secretary, from planning the most beautiful Chaturthi decoration to organizing Goa's biggest college fest with over 8,000 people attending, the man behind all the victories at the cultural events and the facilitator of various club activities, Vignesh, the multi-talented individual who is just one call away whenever help is needed. You have taught me the most important life lesson that sometimes for the greater good, we have to say no to certain things. Our beloved Joint Secretary, man with zero haters, Yash Star, the silent worker whose contribution to this council remains right at the top. I think it's safe to say that the one guy who's worked, who's worked the most during our term, but whose work has been appreciated the least, is Yash. Sometimes there are certain works where you require missing lectures or clinics, but Yash always made sure that we did the work and also attended clinics on time. Thank you very much, Yash. Let me take this moment to appreciate and acknowledge what you have done for us and being the person you are. Thank you for always letting, uh, keeping me connected with academics as well. During our GBM last year, so if you remember, you had mentioned referring to the scene from Lion King where little Simba steps on his father's footprint and that we had a huge benchmark set by us, set for us by our senior. I hope so today with our terms conclusion. We have been able to at least achieve the ben benchmark, if not set a new one. I wish all the very best to the new council led by Veda and hope you will do an even better job than us. Lastly, I would like to conclude my speech with a quote I found. Amidst the journey's chaos, amidst its joys and sorrows, lies the classroom, classroom of life where learning, where learning flourishes. 
Thank you very much.